this one a continuous curve as equation y equals fx so they've given us a random function that we don't know the equation of but we know a table of corresponding values of x and y where there's a couple of missing values and it tells us that the trapezium rule is used with all the y values in the table to find an approximate area under the curve and they've given us this area so we're going to be using that backwards to try and show that a plus 2b equals 51. Now just a little recap on the trapezium rule there so if this was our random function f of x what we do is we split it up into various trapeziums to estimate the area under the graph so in effect we're finding the integral between that point there and that point there in this case how many trapeziums will there be well if you think about it this goes from 3 to 3.2 to 3.4 etc and you can see that the height of the trapezium looking at it sideways will be 0 0.2 so that's an important thing to first write down so h is 0 0.2 now in the actual formula booklet they do tell us that so this is what they give us the trapezium rule itself so you don't need to memorize it but you do need to know how to use it and where h is i personally wouldn't use this bit it's better to just to work out from there you can clearly see it's going up in point twos if you use this one you just need to remember that there's always going to be one less trapezium um, than the number of values in the table because that represents one trapezium two three four so there's five trapezium so if you did use this the number of trapeziums would be five not six as shown in the table there's six values shown in the table okay so from here we now can use this formula so we know that the area is 17.9 so if i fill in my values there it's going to be 0 0.2 over 2 for half h and inside i want the first value and the last value of y so a and 13.5 a plus 13.5 and it's going to be plus two times all the remaining values in the middle so two times 16.8 plus b plus 20.2 plus 18.7 and that should all equal to 17.59 Okay, so simplifying this, 0 0.2 over 2 is 0 0.1. We've got a plus 13.5 plus 2 times, and simplifying that inside there gives us b plus 55.7. And that's all equal to 17.59. Uh, if you times both sides by 10, you get rid of this 0 0.1 there. So that gives us A plus, and expanding and simplifying, that will give us A plus 2B plus 111.4 plus 13.5 equals 175.9, because remember we times by 10. And if you simplify that down, what you end up with is a plus 2b and adding these and subtracting it from that side will give you the 51 that we were looking for qed that which was to be proved now for part b it says given that also that the sum of all the y values in the table is 97.2 we need to work out the value of a and b so we can write a separate equation with this one because we know that all of these added together so a plus 16.8 plus b plus 20.2 plus 18.7 13.5 is equal to 97.2 
Simplifying that down, that gives us A plus B plus 69.2 is 97.2. Subtracting 69.2 from both sides gives us A plus B equals 28. Now we've got two equations that we can solve simultaneously. So a plus 2b is 51, a plus b is 28. Subtracting the equations leaves us with b equals 23. And subbing that into either one, so sub it into the bottom one, a plus 23 is 28. So uh, A is 5.